Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, Monster High posted a brand new teaser for the movie. We got to hear how some of the characters' voices are going to sound. I'm talking about the live-action movie, of course. Um, I don't think... I'm pretty sure that they're bringing back the original voice actors for the upcoming TV show, but for the movie, we got to see how the characters are going to sound with their like live-action betrayals. We saw how some of them are going to look like Cleo was revealed. It's a bit underwhelming, but there is a lot of new stuff to look at, so without playing the teaser, because I don't want this video to get copyright claimed, um, that'll be linked in the description, we're going to be talking about some of the key moments that we saw in the trailer. So with that, let us begin. So at the beginning of the teaser, we see characters such as Claudine, Frankie, Jackie Laura, and a sneak peek of Deuce. We've yet to see anything about him. He does not seem to have CGI snake hair. He has normal human hair, and um, he's got scales on the back of his neck, but uh, I don't know. This doesn't really give us much as to what Deuce actually looks like, but it's like a bit of a peek of his face. This was right at the beginning, so it was really hard to pause. Um, I'm not good at getting screenshots from Instagram reels, so I just kind of... You'll see a bit of the borders in some of them. We also saw Frankie who has pink electricity. She said she's all charged up. And Draculaura said that she's into witchcraft, which is definitely a new thing. Yeah, um, Draculaura historically has never been interested in witchcraft. This is a brand new thing established by the reboot. So, yeah, we just have to keep in mind that this is a reboot. I've held out hope of, for years of getting back the original Monster High, but... I just don't think Mattel's ever going to do it. They gave us Cree Productions, they gave us Haunt Couture, so I'm slowly starting to accept that everything's going to be different from now on. Um, I'd like to bring up the teasers we went over yesterday as well. So this is the full appearances of the characters in the movie from what we could see compared to the live action. Well, the live action and the animated. I meant to say the animation. Sorry, I still slip on my words. But Claudine looks different here. She doesn't have her fur coat. She's wearing a different skirt. She even looks like she's wearing a different shirt. So I'm guessing she's going to get a, like some kind of makeover from her friends because she looks very different here from how she looks here. So this teaser was one that was found on, like I think Nickelodeon posted it themselves. It might have been a deleted tweet or something, but we still have the picture because once you put something online, it's just kind of always there. But, um... Yeah, definitely a big difference in Claudine's look. We also have some more pictures of Deuce if you guys would like to see those, which um, there's a lot of Deuce fans. They've all come out of the woodworks ever since Mattel included him in that Pride post, so, you know, let's look at Deuce. This is one of the only other shots we get of Deuce. We get this one that shows off his part of his face and the fact that he's wearing glasses and his super cool bad boy beanie and his um, scales on the back of his neck. We also get this establishing shot of his back. So yeah, Deuce looks kind of... He's wearing a lot of black, definitely. I was gonna say kind of goth, but he actually looks more like Jughead from Riverdale. I don't even watch Riverdale. I just know what Jughead looks like. So yeah, he's kind of giving me Jughead energy. If I'm wrong, sorry, Riverdale fans, don't skewer me in the comments. Do Riverdale fans exist? I don't know. But yeah, this is what we get of Deuce so far. So uh, let me know, Deuce fans. Are you guys going crazy over this? Are you enjoying it? We also got this establishing shot of what the school looks like from the outside. This is Claudine inside of the school. And it reminds me a lot of the um, Monster High School playset. It almost looks like they made a big version of the um, most recent school playset that they had made. You know, it's not like the little school. It looks more like the bigger one, you know? The giant one. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? And that's what it looks like to me. So, yeah, Monster High. Now let's get into the background characters who did not get established, like, full-on shots of them. I don't know why I don't have any pictures of Claudine. There was a Claudine part before the Frankie, then it was Dracula, then it was Deuce. But for some reason, I don't have a picture of Claudine. I guess I thought I took a screenshot and I didn't. That's my bad. So another thing that drove people crazy was that we got to see Cleo. And I have to say, this is a very underwhelming look for Cleo. 
There's no bandages wrapped around her arms, none wrapped around her legs. She's wearing a lot of jewelry, but where are the bandages? She has mummies behind her. Mm. I don't know, I just feel like this look is a bit underwhelming for Cleo. Obviously, it's not... There's a chance that later on in the movie the characters will get different outfits, but I do think that if... You know, based on the fact that the um, movie took inspiration from the new animated series, there's a chance that Cleo's new basic doll is going to end up looking kind of boring, which is, ugh. You know, I don't think they could do worse than they did in 2015, 2016. I mean, the outfit that she had in the 2016 reboot was horrendous, but um, there's a chance for this to be better. Right now, she looks like she's from that one line in the reboot. Let me get a picture of it. Yeah, this is the vibe she's giving to me right now. <laughs> we also got this establishing shot of Claudine looking up, and there was a number of other characters around her. There's a chance that some of these might be named characters, they might be backgrounders. This one looks like it might be Abby to me, mostly because of the blue arms. There's also a backgrounder in white at the bottom left of the screen, who some people think might also be Abby. I thought that this one had a chance of being Abby, but there's a chance that the other one in this picture is Abby. Abby has been cast in the movie. She doesn't play a major role from what we know so far, but she is cast. Operetta is also cast in the movie. I believe Twyla might be as well. I'm not actually sure about Twyla, but I am sure about the other two, Operetta and Abby. So we can expect them to return. And if our theory about the looks in the movie being loosely based on the looks in the 3D animated show, evidence here, then we have a pretty good chance of uh, whatever Abby ends up looking like in the movie closely resembling how her doll is going to look when she eventually gets it. So yeah, uh, I think we've gone over just about everything there is to now. So while I was editing this, I actually went on Instagram Turns out that Draculaura and Deuce's animated counterparts have been revealed, once again by the same convention that we saw Frankie and Claudine at yesterday. So, allow me to show you guys those. So this is from a TikTok. I actually can't see what the username is. It was kind of cropped out in the picture that someone sent to me. So, um, sorry, random TikTok user. Your face is there, though. So, Draculaura wears a sun hat from the looks of it, and does look pretty similar to her animated counterpart. I mean, her live-action counterpart. I'm bad at words. So, yeah, Draculaura's look is more pink than from what we see here. She's wearing more black. I don't think it's a bad look. I like the earrings. The animation style is going to take some getting used to, but I don't completely dislike it. As for Deuce, his skin is now green, which is a stark contrast to how he's going to look in the live-action movie because he is just normal white skin tone, you know? Not green. So, that's new. We're pretty used to Deuce just having a, like, human skin tone, so making him green is an interesting change, but I guess it's not, like, bad or anything. It's just new. Um, his new sunglasses kind of remind me of what he wears in Bjork Bjork, and he seems to be dressed a lot more fashionably than he was in the movie, because, you know, this Jughead-looking fit compared to what looks to be like a snakeskin suit. Definitely a big change. So I do think that this is for the better, though. Personally, I would have preferred if Deuce had stayed a little more true to his original fashion sense, to his original appearance. But this isn't bad by any means. It's a good design. I don't dislike it at all. As for Draculaura, I do like the split dye. I'm going to miss the mostly black hair with pink streaks, but it's not bad. Uh, here are Frankie and Claudine once again, so we're starting to piece our cast together. I'm surprised that we got to see Deuce before we got to see Cleo or Gulia or even Laguna, but overall, this is a pretty nice development. We're slowly but surely getting to see everyone. And now we've officially gone over everything, so now I can just start giving you guys my thoughts. I think that the actors are doing a decent enough job based on what we could hear in the movie from their vocal performances. One thing that kind of bugged me was that Frankie and Draculaura's voices were kind of similar, as well as Claudine's. Like, nobody tried to put on an accent of any kind, like the voice actors did for the show. And, you know, maybe that's, like, for the best, because the, act 
the accents that some of the actors did in the original show were a little cheesy. But it did kind of make some of the characters sound samey. That might just be me, though. I just thought Frankie and Draculaura sounded kind of similar. The establishing shots for the school were pretty interesting. Once again, I do see the references to the Deadlocks High School set, which I think is pretty cool. It's difficult to tell what this movie's going to be about. I'm pretty sure it's just about Claudine starting to go to Monster High and being half-human, because that's a new part of her character, I guess. I don't know. I was hoping that part wouldn't seep into the animated show, but it seems to be. Um, we got Deuce. Everyone makes assumptions about him. And then there's the dance that we got to see. So, yep, this is a musical. <laughs> um, there's also a chance that the dolls that are coming out, because there is a line of Monster High dolls that was announced called the Monsterific School Musical. So there's a chance that the designs we're seeing here, while they're for the show, might also be released as movie dolls. Like dolls based on the movie. Because once again, it's in, it's strange to call a line a monsterific musical, as well as like subtitling your movie that, and then not releasing dolls based around the movie. So these looks, while altered for the show, may actually end up seeing a release. So I don't know. I'm just speculating at this point. Just wanted to throw in some speculation at the end, get you guys excited. But yeah, I think with that, let's move on to the outro because this video is very long. I'm excited to see how this movie's gonna turn out, and honestly, I think I'm a bit more excited for the animated series just because it means that we're going to be getting new dolls. I really want to see how the dolls are gonna look, though. That's my main concern. I need to see those dolls. A couple months back, we actually got, like, leaks of what the dolls looked like, and I made a video on it, but that video got copyright striked. Not copyright claimed, copyright striked. So, something in that video was real. <laughs> It was all just speculative, but something in it was real. So, you know, maybe we've already seen the dolls. Maybe it'll be a Dracula situation where somebody posted them months ago and nobody finds them until later on tonight or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm a prophet. Let's speak this into existence, guys. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. Feel free to comment your thoughts below. And as always, I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye!